Hey, YouTubers and YouTubies. I'm not too excited right now about what I have to tell you because I'm really not sure which direction this is going to go in, but I thought I'd update you. I had my uh, heart doctor uh, test today. He was supposed to, uh, I thought he was going to draw bloody prick my finger for a cholesterol check. Naturally, the cholesterol check comes out a little higher than he wanted it to be. So I was like, well, you know, that'll all go down after I have my gastric surgery, Karam. That's what I'm here for, for the gastric surgery. He's known this the entire time, okay? Anyway, uh, I guess he forgot. But anyway, what happens is, is that I say this will all, you know, that cholesterol will come down after surgery because I can't have any high fats or anything like that because it'll make me sick. And he says... I'm going to order you a stress test. Now, I've already had a stress test. I have a stent in my heart right now because we had a stress test. About two years ago, these three fingertips were numb. And right here on my thumb, it was numb. And uh, I didn't think anything of it at the time. I didn't. And there was just this little weird sensation in my chest right about right here in this area, right where your heart is. That was just a sensation. I can't even say it was a pain because it wasn't a pain. It wasn't like it was a pull. It didn't feel like a pull. It just, it didn't feel like a pressure. It was just a sensation. So the day that I walk into my primary care physician, um, he's asking me some questions and I told him, he says, you know, what are you here for? And I said, I'm here for gastric surgery. And he says some other stuff to me, blah, blah, blah. And then he asked me if I ever had any, any sense, do, do I notice anything different about my heart? Uh, have I had any symptoms out of the ordinary? And I said, well, it's funny that you should ask that question. As a matter of fact, I have, and I go into the explanations of the same things I just said. So he says, you're going to have to go over to the doctor right now, today right now. I'll schedule an appointment. You're going to go over there and he's going to check your heart out. Eventually it turns out that I go and have an arteriogram done or an angioplasty or whatever you want to call it and I get a stent put in my heart. I've been dealing with this heart doctor who's a wonderful man. Now don't get me wrong. Walked into him saying the same thing I told Hirsch. I'm here for gastric surgery. Hirsch thinks I need to talk to you and we get to the point where I'm at today for this uh, three month follow up from my last um echocardiogram or ultrasound or whatever it was, which by the way, he has not told me anything about yet. So I go in today and I have this cholesterol read done, which was slightly high. My blood pressure was up because I'm, all, I'm under an immense amount of stress right now. It's the last day that I can shop before Christmas. I haven't done anything. have this free check, which means usually most of the money is free money. It's not really allotted to anything and it's completely gone. It's already got a, a bunch of different places it has to go. So there's like 25 bucks I get to spend for my kid. That's it. Just $25. So he says to me, it was the first thing we did this morning, which of course adds to my stress level because this is just not cool. I have a thousand things to do this weekend and I have to do this dumb test. So he says, well, your cholesterol is a little high. And I went, oh, that's what you were checking on. And I, I messed up this weekend because I didn't know that's what you were checking on. I thought that you were checking on something else. So I had some fatty foods. And I'm, males in? I'm not going to lie. I had some fatty foods. So I'm like, well, that's probably why it was up. Well, he's And I said, but you've got to clear me for this surgery because I've got to get cleared by you. Thinking, surely he understands that this surgery means that I have to go low fat. I haven't really eaten any fat. I eat ground turkey. I mean, I've had some fat this weekend, but I eat ground. I haven't hardly had any cheese. I mean, I don't eat it like every day. I don't eat ground beef every day. Um, last night I had some ground beef and a little bit of cheese on the ground beef. I mean, we're talking about that much cheese that was shredded, okay? Just <laughs> not even a tablespoonful. It was more like half a teaspoon. And I had that, and I had a salad, which had no fat on it except for the ranch dressing, which was low-cal, so it's probably low-fat. I mean, low... It was like a yogurt-based ranch dressing to me is what it tasted like. It had just a slight tang to it. But anyway, anyway, I have to do this uh, stress test, which I'm thinking... You know, it'll give me some time to worry about, you know, prepping up for it and everything. He's, I'm thinking, oh, he's going to maybe do this next month. Uh, on Monday, 
Today is Friday, and I've got the stress test I have to take on Monday. Do you think that my stress level went way up? Oh, yes, it did. So I'm thinking, why do I have to do a stress test with him if the facility does a stress test? And he says, Boo, I will not approve the surgery if the stress test shows anything that's out of the ordinary for you. Oh, great. That's all I need. So I'm thinking, wonderful. Call the office up, because I'm sure they said to me that they do a stress test. By the way, when I call them, they do not do the stress test. If this doctor does not approve my surgery or approve this result on this stress test on Monday, I'm not getting the surgery. And I've gotten this far. And I have a psychological evaluation that afternoon, if I'm, you know, and I'm really torn, should I continue on with a psych eval if he's not going to approve this, this test? I mean, you know, what can he do? Do another one the next week or two months, I mean, two weeks later or whatever? <laughs> I'm not even sure where I stand right now. I'm really... You know, I've done everything. Out-of-pocket money we paid for this, and then I'm going to get this door slammed in my face again? <sighs> I cannot handle this. This is way too much pressure for me. I'm under so much stress. I'm going to do everything for everybody else right now, and I can't even go Christmas shopping for my kid. <sighs> I don't have to worry about this dumb test on Monday. And I don't want to think positive, and I tell people to think positive, but I'm also a realist. And I know that there's a 50-50 chance. And what the why I'm crying is because I'm scared that the 50 that's the bad side is the one that's going to show up. And I don't know what to do to make it not show up. I don't know how to make the stress test a positive test. I don't know how to do it. He's gonna it's a DSE where they do a read on you while you're laying down and then they uh, they have a IV or a needle in you and then they slowly put this medicine in your system that raises your heart rate up. And they monitor your heart rate while you're still laying down. And it acts as, what it does is it speeds your heart rate up to make it act like you're um, exercising. And <laughs> it just makes me. I hate the fact that I'm fat even more. <laughs> because if I take better care of my body, I would be in this position. <laughs> The only thing it does give me is is the ability to know that if that test comes out wrong, that I know that I have to work extra hard or harder. <laughs> Can get more of that right now, but that'll be the third time, and I'm running. I'm really out of time. I have to get this done in the next couple of months or I start all the way over again with even more, more money out of pocket and from scratch again with the whole new seminar and, and the nutritionist all over again and, and the psychological evaluation after all that and that three months diet. And here I was worrying about the uh, psychological evaluation. That's not even the concern anymore. The stupid stress test is. <laughs> oh.
I can't believe that I got this far. And I might have that door shut in my face again. Oh, and I'd have to go back to the same physical therapist again and listen to her blah blah tell me that she told me so and <sighs> this really is is tough. It's not easy to go through all these steps and have this extra one thrown in there because because you had a heart problem. If you had to put that stent in, I would have had a heart attack. I had a 70% blockage in my left artery. And he put the stent in and he said he saw 30% blockage in the other one. But I haven't had any symptoms like that before. I've not had any symptoms. No tingling in the fingers, no tingling in my thumb. I can walk, and I can walk at a fairly rapid pace, better than I used to, but my back starts to hurt, so I couldn't walk for the same amount of time or the distance because of my back, and I think I'm fine. I feel like I could, if my back didn't hurt, I could go for hours and hours walking, and I don't think my heart would give out. I think my heart is fine. Maybe positive thinking can make my heart fine. I don't know. It sure would be nice to know that I had a lot of people praying for me that uh, this dumb test will come out right. So, if you feel like it, please give that some consideration if you need my name to do it, because some people have to have the name to pray for you. My name is Michelle, Michelle Williamson, and uh, that's all you need to know. Anyway, I thought I'd give you all an update um, about that, uh, that test and let you know what's going on. And I appreciate your comments and your subscriptions and um, congratulations all of you that are successfully able to get yours, yours done because I'm still trying and I don't know if I will be able to get it done. And, have a good day.